female genital sores main causes female genital sores have a number of causes the most common of which are sexually transmitted infections including herpes lumps and bumps in and around the vagina may be itchy painful tender or produce a discharge others may not cause any symptoms the symptoms diagnosis treatment and outlook depend on the cause of the source genital sores caused by sexually transmitted infections or stis tend to be painful and itchy and can appear as one or multiple sores these are the most common type of sores and can be very contagious they include genital herpes genital herpes is an infection that causes outbreaks of blisters or ulcers on the genitals it is the most common cause of genital sores in the united states when someone has an outbreak of genital herpes they develop one or more lesions around the genitals or rectum they may not hurt but they can burst and become painful if they burst the ulcers can take 2 to 4 weeks to heal the first outbreak of genital herpes that a person experiences tends to be more severe and painful once somebody gets genital herpes they have it for life it is not curable but outbreaks can be treated and there are medications to reduce or shorten the number of outbreaks people with genital herpes should avoid sexual contact during an outbreak to stop the virus spreading chancroid chancroid is an sti caused by the bacteria people with chancroid develop sporadic outbreaks of painful ulcers once treatment has begun symptoms tend to improve within 3 days and the infection usually clears up within 7 days large ulcers may need around 2 weeks or more to heal granuloma inguinal granuloma inguinal is caused by the bacteria people with this condition develop ulcers that are beefy red in color and bleed they tend to be painless granuloma inguinal which is rare in the united states can be treated with antibiotics though the infection may return 6 to 18 months later Molluscum contagiosum Molluscum contagiosum is a contagious skin infection that causes small lesions or bumps on the thighs, buttocks, groin, groin and lower abdomen. The lesions can appear on the genitals and around the anus and can develop into larger sores that become itchy or tender. They can they can be flesh colored gray white yellow or pink and last from 2 weeks to 4 years most lesions heal naturally although they may come back doctors can remove them to prevent them spreading to others syphilis caused by the bacteria syphilis can lead to ulcers and rashes in the genital area it can be treated with a course of intravenous penicillin G though the course dose and length of treatment depend on the stage of the disease and how it presents after treatment people tend to be retested at 6 6 to 12 months to ensure the infection has cleared up if it has not further treatment will be offered genital warts Genital warts are caused by one of almost 100 human papilloma viruses or HPV. HPV infection is common but most do not result in visible lesions. The sores that result are harmless and usually resolve by themselves within a year. Warts tend to be soft on smooth skin 
but firm on hairy skin and treatment depends on their location and size. People with small numbers of words can be treated with creams. Those will with those with larger words may need to have them surgically removed. Non sexually acquired genital ulceration or NSAGU. This source can be caused by underlying health conditions such as celiac or Crohn's disease or be triggered by vitamin deficiencies or hormonal fluctuations. People who have NSAGU may experience flu-like symptoms before the sores develop as well as swelling in the genital area. Most ulcers of this kind heal by themselves within a couple of weeks, though doctors may recommend pain relief. In severe cases, steroids may be prescribed. Contact Dermatitis Contact Dermatitis is caused by an allergic reaction and can develop in response to products such as washing detergent or bath and shower washes. Poison ivy, nickel and perfumes can also cause this inflammatory reaction. Avoiding the allergen is the best way to deal with contact dermatitis. But in severe cases, doctors may recommend steroid treatment. Varicocities Varicocities are swollen veins that can appear as blue or purple bumps around the vulva and vagina. They can cause minor discomfort, swelling and a feeling of pressure in the affected area. These sores are more likely to occur during pregnancy and through aging. When they occur during pregnancy, they are likely to go away without requiring treatment within six weeks of delivery. Support garments and cold compressors can relieve discomfort and activities that improve blood flow from the pelvis, such as swimming, can also help. Diagnosis While most causes of genital sores can be dealt with easily, if left untreated, some conditions can lead to complications later on. In very rare cases, genital sores may be caused by cancer or they may be harmless cysts that can be removed. Because there are a variety of causes for female genital sores, it is important to visit a doctor for a diagnosis as soon as possible. This will ensure that a person receives the right treatment. To discover the cause of the source, a doctor will carry out a physical examination. They may also need to perform other tests such as taking bloods or a swab from the affected area.